Hoje pessoal, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo no canal e hoje estamos cá para mais um episódio de Batman The Telltale Series. Bom, vamos lá então. Eu ia apanhar o um jornal, mas entramos logo. Tens frio, pá, fogo. Está a ficar muito tarde. Que bom. Te encontro. Há a estátua, mas não há nós. Está aí o hoje, mano. Eu vou jogar algo do género. Ah, mano, o, coisa fica sem, o Bruce fica sempre com essa cara estranha. Olha. Ei. Beat it! Não me apetece, desculpa. Posso ficar aqui? O que é que me vais fazer se eu ficar aqui? Não fazes nada, Mendricas. Vamos então continuar a procura. Ok, por, ali, por aqui parece não. Tem aqui um grafite. Onde é que está o grafite? Ah, está aqui, mano. Bom, tem aqui esta estátua. Mano. Ai, que, 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 que é que está a chegar? Watch Wallet Cash. Desculpa, não me apetece. Goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, Us? all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're the moment! Come here! Think that'll do! Come here! Now, I think I'll pass the grana. I think I'll be afraid to go to the mar. Toma! E agora? Ah, mano, que nojo! Não lives like you don't belong! Ah, mano! Ai, ai, caralho! Ai, ai! This is my park! Mine! You hear that? Caralho! Oh, hey, Bruce! You've got a little, uh. Eh. Yeah. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory yeah. tower, Bruce. No, Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Don't we grow up to be kings, I think? Both of us. <sighs> This city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. 
Ah, our family's fortune. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm. I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. Ah, we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... Oh, wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone yeah, made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high. Ruling families like mine. All he needs is a little push. There'd be a tree to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. Am I getting through to you, Bruce? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wake, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Get to catch. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce?
My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility in the hope that a night like that never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most. We... All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! God, has your family been oh, with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control is my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Uh. Come on, the police are inside the manor. Come on. Police are inside the manor. Come on. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course not. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence. 
And any companies you own. Yeah, Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I got a survey. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. No, no, no. No, no, no. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I don't have anything. O que é que eu tenho? Ah, tenho sim. Tenho sim. Ai, já me partiu o vidro. A única coisa que eu tenho a esconder é que eu sou o Batman, desejo. O resto eu não tenho. Ah, oh, mas não partiu o vidro. Para o valhão, ponto. Até se me atirar já isto na cara dele. Hã? Stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this! I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Oh, first guess, nosy reporters. The public's fascinated with you, Mr. Wayne. A scandal like this? It's a reporter's dream. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this, on the anniversary of your parents, not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Thank you. 
triste às 5h23. Ah, oh, mano. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking hey, everything gosh. related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with oh. this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? Oh. That just doesn't make sense. Uh, I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few I'll cheap headlines? Reading, right? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Easy, no, era fácil. Bruce, easy, I wish I could just make this go easy. away, but I'm but not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, so, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. For, for, for isso, it would for jeopardize isso. the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got ah. a habit of being late. No, no, it's just aquela, glad you made aquela it. Senhora, aquela gata. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. What's it so, like? what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Uh, uh, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Oh, yeah. And now we're going to talk about what he's going to do. Do you want to see? Nós dois, ambos já sabemos que é que é. Nice to meet the real you. Don't Isso say é. anything. Please. Hmm. We'll see. Também This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. 
sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something now. I do what I do for money. But you? Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you? Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. No, no, I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working no, for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. No, yeah, I'd rather not. Not. Listen. Listen. I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. Mundo. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Well, Sorry, but I've no. gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Quite please, short time. Era bom se a gente pudesse voar pela cidade. E seria ótimo. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? <sighs> I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. <laughs> It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Okay. Nothing left to bury.
whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. Mm. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same to City Hall. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Caracas, que força! Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister, but I need to know what caused the explosion. White Rose. Rosa Branca. Mas estava a dizer Rosa Preta. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones. Está a falar com quem? I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. Not bad. Ai, que caraças! Perdeu o olho. Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Never seen a bullet do that. Thank you. 
देखिए Come, 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 come. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister, but I need to know what caused the explosion. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Yeah. We got it. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. What's that case, cop? Achei que eu vou acabar o episódio por aqui. Tipo, não me parece, não me parece saber mais nada tipo assim para ver. Tinha. Espero então que tenham gostado mais um episódio de Batman, ok? Um, eu vou acabar por aqui. Espero que tenham gostado mais um episódio desta série. Na verdade só temos dois até agora. Mas pronto. Então eu fico por aqui. Até à próxima e fui! Obrigado! Tchau, deixa o like. Ah!